This past year, I got super organized when it comes to my podcast content, my YouTube content, and my social media content. And this is all thanks to one little tool called Airtable. So in this video, I'm gonna pull back the curtain, share my screen, and show you exactly how I use Airtable to organize all of my content systems. Now, for those of you who are new, I wanna take a moment to introduce myself. Hello, my name is Andrea Jones. I'm a social media strategist really dedicated to making things simple, easy, and fun when it comes to social media. I want you to spend less time getting more results. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to share my screen in a moment and dive into everything Airtable. Okay, so there's three different parts of my Airtable base that I want to show you today. The first part is this messaging section. And this is really the foundation of how I organize my content in Airtable because I want to make sure that everything is aligned with my messages, my podcast, my YouTube videos, my uh, social media content. I want everything to go together. So Lainey in her course called Airtable Like a Boss, which I'll talk about at the end of this video, really showed me how to do this. Uh, but I want to show you how I do it personally. So take this box, for instance. By the way, Airtable is like a fancy spreadsheet. So take this box. If I expand it, we can take a look at my messaging. So one of the messages that I like to talk about is social media simplified. Social media doesn't have to be hard. One channel, three hours a week, that's it. This is something that I talk a lot about, especially if you listen to the Savvy Social podcast, okay? This is a message that I want consistently in all of my work. So I do suggest you starting off as well by creating your messaging because we're going to make sure that the different content pieces we create fit with these messaging pieces, okay? Next up, we've got our content creation calendar, and I've got this broken down into a few different sections. I want to show you my podcast section first because this is really where I use Airtable the most. So I'm going all the way back to last year, 2019. This is when I started using this. This podcast episode here is linked in a good platform for your business. This is number 28, episode number 28. And I have the date that I posted it here. And I have a status, and I'll talk about that in a second, but I wanted to jump on over to the messages. So this box here reinforces my optimizer social media messaging, so creating systems and that sort of thing. And I have notes, I have the link to the episode, and so on and so forth. But the cool thing about this is the different views and how you can view your content. So let's say I don't wanna look at this as a list view. This is your traditional spreadsheet. Let's say I wanna look at this as a calendar. I can absolutely pull up a calendar of the exact same content and see what's coming up. I have it color coded. You can color code it however you like, but mine is pink for the podcast. So you can see I actually switched from doing my podcast on Thursdays to Tuesdays, and I'm pretty far ahead with that schedule all the way to March 2020. I'm recording this in January 2020. Uh, but I also have uh, other areas that I add in here as well. And one of my missions for the year is to do more YouTube videos. So you'll see my last YouTube video here, we're on January 7th now, uh, that just came out, I put this in my Airtable base so I could plan it out. So you can look at it in different views as well. Let's say you wanted to look at it in different buckets. You'll see that this is very similar to something like Trello, where you can have different cards and buckets and where things go. So if I wanted to look at podcasts specifically, I have that here, YouTube videos are here, blog posts are here. And then I've got some things that are unorganized. I don't know what they're going to be yet but they all go in here. So you can look at this content however you'd like. I prefer the content type view because then I can look at all of my podcast episodes together here. And like I said, I have different stages. So this really helps me know what stage I'm at in the process. So the next podcast episode actually just published, so I'll change this, but I wanted to show you the different stages. You can edit this and create whatever you'd like, but this is for me. So I have uh, things that are just an idea, Sometimes things that have been recorded but not scheduled. When it's scheduled, that means I send it off to my editor, assigned, needs an intro, et cetera, et cetera. And then I also assign a lead magnet. So right now we're in the middle of our LinkedIn Jumpstart Challenge. And so that's what I'm assigning for this. And that's kind of like my free offer that leads into the paid offer. And that's how I have it organized here in um, Airtable. So you can organize this however you'd like. But the greatest thing that we've recently done is organizing social media content for this. So I'll pull up my content calendar. Again, I'm not actually the best at this, but I did want to show you what this could look like. Actually, what I'm going to do is switch on over to a client just so you can see uh, what this looks like. So let's pick this client as an example. 
and I'm going to go back on over to my calendar view. So we have different phases of a client process and we use this internally with our team to plan our social media content. So this client is a, an event-based client. They've got a spring conference coming up. So we actually scheduled this post for them. We have a, assigned a post topic. We write out what the caption would be with the link. We do alternative captions for Instagram because remember, we can't have that link. The link goes in the bio. We do hashtags and we add our images. See, so we've got our main image here and then we also have images for Instagram stories. We have the date that it's going to publish and we have the different statuses similar to how I organize my content for our team in progress, needs to review, ready to post, schedule and posted. We have the different platforms and where it's going to schedule and we leave little notes for ourselves as well. So you can very easily organize your social media content, especially if you have a team uh, with Airtable in this way. Thanks for sticking with me with this video on Airtable. I want to take a moment to invite you to join my friend Lainey Lamar's amazing course on Airtable. It's literally where I learned how to do all of the amazing things you just saw in Airtable. So sign up. I'll put a link in the description below. If you're looking for an easy way to organize pretty much your whole digital life, you want to look at Airtable. Sign up and I'll see you on the inside because I'm in that course as well. Bye for now.